Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I am back with a guest design team project for Tsunami Rose Designs and this is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time it was 45 minutes so <laughs> I'm going to try to get it under a half an hour so I'm going to do a flip through on my junk journal and then I'll uh, talk more in detail about specific pages or things that I really liked. Um, and if you do have any questions about anything and you want to see anything in more detail, just leave a comment uh, and I will uh, do another video on that particular item. But um, so Ro um, Tsunami Rose Designs is owned by Daisy Collins. She has a Facebook group for the designers or guest designers and I've been on it since I was on her design team. She never um, took me off of the Facebook group. So I would always see when she would post things about, you know, wanting people to um, sign up for design team or guest design team spots or whatever. So she had done one for September and I was like, oh, I haven't done a junk journal in a long time. Let me sign up. So I did. As part of the design team, she sends you to her store to pick out a certain number of items that you will use in your junk journals. So these are the things that I selected to use. The French Classified TN Part 1 and Part 2, the French Classified Ephemera, the Vintage Parcel Journal Kit, um, Coffee Dyed Ledger Paper Number 40, Guaranteed Handmade Shabby Labels, and then there was some printables from her shop that I already had in my stash and I used on one particular thing in the, uh, or a couple of things in the junk, junk journal. And those were from the Life of Bloom Journal Pages Part 2 um, uh, set. Um, and then I was looking around in her store to see what other ephemera and things and tags and things like that that she had. And I came across a folder that said Vintage POC. So um, I clicked on it and POC is uh, people of color. So in that folder are shipping tags, postcards, journaling, cards, tickets, and lots of other things with images of people of co color, men, women, and children. And I thought that was really awesome. And so um, I did select a few of those things and she actually sent me extra ones that I didn't even put on my list. So that was really cool and thank you so much um, Daisy for doing that. So the French classified uh, collection it does have images or people on it and it more looks more like Marie Antoinette or from that time period and I was actually going to mix and have you know both but the more I started um, working on my journal the more I realized it wasn't coming out quite the way that I wanted and that's because the majority of the images of the people of color are in black and white and the images on the collection are full color and then also the the attire or the the clothing are from different time periods so um i wasn't able to to mix it and so i just stuck with all the images that had like so these are the this is one of the ephemera pieces from the french classified so you can see it's full color um and the the attire is a totally different time period and then these are the shipping labels. So these are the um, women of color or people of color shipping labels or shipping tags number nine. And I remember these from before. I know that she's had these before. I remember seeing them sometime last year. But this time when I looked in that particular folder, or actually I hadn't seen that folder before, uh, but in the folder is a lot more things than what I remember. So that's awesome that she's adding to that collection. So on my Pinterest, I do have a, um, a Pinterest board of ephemera and of people and of people of color. Um, and so I try to look on Pinterest for images that are, you know, free <laughs> that I can use in my journals and stuff like that. And I, I have a few, but I don't have that many. And Daisy has way more than what I have. And she has images that I don't have, like... I don't think any of the images she has are ones that I already have. So that's really awesome. I got to add a bunch of these to my um, to my collection. And as, the, as you can see, this one is a set of tags. These are um, the, uh, let's see, 
these are some little like things to do tags or um, journaling spots these are some journaling spots then she has cards like these so these are the ones that I have left over um, I printed the shipping tags larger and I printed I have some printable burlap in my stash so I printed them on burlap and you'll see those in my um, journal um, so the, the things that I selected are the vintage POC shipping tags big elements 10 women vintage uh, people of color big elements for women of color um, and like I said she sent me additional ones that I did not have she also has a set of tickets and I don't know why I didn't get those because I normally really like to use tickets in my junk journals so I, I didn't but I sh you know I should have so um, yeah I printed things in different sizes um, so these are the same but I printed them like I said in different sizes and these are some of the leftover pages that I have from the French classified collection and like I said this is the main collection that I used in my journal this is one of the uh, pages from the coffee dyed ledger papers you can see the background is a ledger and then it has this coffee dyed pattern on it so if you don't want to go through the hassle of coffee dyeing then you can just get uh, the printables um, these are pages from the Life of Bloom collection that I already had and already had printed out from um, a prior time and then these are some of the flowers that are from her her store these are some of the ephemera pieces but this is uh, a set of flowers that I had already in my stash that I printed and you can see these are also from her shop so I will put a link in the description box to um, Daisy's store and to her Facebook group um, and then you know you can go and check it out the majority of her printables are only two dollars and fifty cents she has junk journal kits that are only two dollars and fifty cents she has ephemera um, journaling spots tickets envelope pockets all of that good stuff that you like to use in your journal she has that in her store and like I said the majority of them are only two dollars and fifty cents which is a great deal so um, for me to increase the amount of images of people of color in my stash it's well worth it to pay the 250 or you know to get a couple of kids that are 250 each to um, increase the the variety of what I have so this is my journal and I absolutely love it um, it's just really beautiful I used a book so I used the cover of a book that I had already gutted so there aren't any pages from the original book in here all I had was the cover the spine and then the back um, and so I used that as the outer part and then I did two inserts and the binding method that I used I don't even know what they call it I have used this method in the past but basically I just took two twine uh, I just took pieces of twine and wrapped them around the center of each insert attached it to the the spine of the cover and then just tied you know tied it off knotted it and tied a bow at the end so I could un, you know, undo the, the bow and um, let the, the twine go and then I can remove these inserts but I, don't want, I didn't want to. And you can see like in normal fashion my junk journals never end up flat. They're always pretty dimensional. And so this one was dimensional so I had to actually add a tie. This originally wasn't on there. I put it on right at the end because the book was just too, too wide. So this is the cover. Um, this is my favorite page from the collection I just think it's really beautiful and then these are some of the ephemera pieces so um, I layered them I added this bling that I had in my stash this is one of the images of the the ladies of color this is some other printables that I had in my stash this came from one of the other ephemera pieces I just fussy cut it out because I wanted some more of the roses there are two layers of lace here and then a little lace applique and then the twine closure just unties and then between the the front cover paper and the actual cover of the book I have layered two pieces of lace um, and then the book opens and I did cover the inside with paper from the collection I also used a lot in this journal this washi tape which I think I got it from Hobby Lobby and then this one I know I ordered this one online I think this is so beautiful it is um, 
likes vintage scrolls with flowers and feather pins and just things like that really beautiful so you will see that a lot in this journal um so this is another printable from another company that i actually cut in half it's a, a actual um image of a doily so i cut it in half and i used um half of it here as a tuck spot and then i used the other half in the back of the on the back cover as a tuck spot as well so you can tuck things in there so this is the cover of the first insert so i took smaller tiles of these um women of color journaling spots and i just layered them with some flowers some metal pieces from my stash there's some a couple of little beads there um and then uh the front cover is a um a library pocket and card and then these are some of the journaling spots this is one of the envelopes from the French, uh, French, French classified collection, and I just um, closed it or left closed all the sides, all the the top, the bottom, and the side, and left this side open. And then there is one of the ephemera pieces there, and then this is on a little hinge, so it folds, it flaps open, and then I put another ephemera piece on the back. Um, and then I just love this collection. I love the touches of black that it has on it where there's uh, like printed or like stamped full stamped images um, and then um, here is another fussy cut piece and another one of the journaling spots this is one of the ephemeris from the collection this is just an acetate heart that I have that has these polka dots on it I thought it was really pretty and went well with that and then I have a little um, at, uh, acetate little butterfly there and then on this side I have this image here and um, I layered some lace underneath put on that image and then added another acetate butterfly then there's some lace then this is kind of reminiscent of what I did on the cover and this is also a tuck spot and then um, I added some grid paper uh, and I folded up the bottom and made a pocket. Then these are some little uh, Polaroids from my stash. This is another one of the envelopes from the collection. I folded it, left the side open, and put in two of the journaling spots. And then this here is a tuck spot as well with some of the ephemera pieces. And then this is some of the, um, the um, coffee dyed ledger paper. Just some scraps that I had. I just ripped the bottom, stapled them together added a little sticker and that's also a tuck spot there and then here are some of the um, women of color shipping tags um, that I printed on the burlap and then this is a die cut of an Eiffel Tower and I offset that I printed it I cut it out on some pink and white striped paper and then I offset it with some um, corrugated paper that I had in my stash I cut it out of that too to give it like a shadow and then this is one of my favorite 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 pages i had this little polaroid strip it's just an acetate ephemera piece that i had in my stash i pulled some of the images and put them behind it and then just put this little bow at the top it sits in a vellum envelope that i put some of the butterfly washi tape one of the acetate um, butterflies that i covered with this washi tape and then there's just some die cuts and a little sentiment there. I also like to print not just on paper, but I print also in cardstock. I also like to print on vellum. So this is one of the coffee dyed ledger papers printed on vellum. And all I did with that is add the washi tape at the top. On my journals, I usually like to print. I, I use my preference is to use printables when I do junk journals because I like to print it on just regular coffee, um, copy weight paper or printer paper um, because I don't like the, the pages to be that thick I'm already going to add a lot of embellishments and things like that and it's already going to be chunky enough on its own where it would be even chunkier if I had printed the papers on cardstock so I usually print it on lightweight paper um, and then on vellum and other other things uh, and like the um, the um, the printable burlap so this is the center of my journal and I usually like to use 
um, vellum on the in, on the center. One of the pages printed on vellum. And once I tie it off and I um, do my binding and all of that, I close it up. So I glue the sides. You can't see the binding on the inside of the journal. And then in this pocket, I just have two tags that I added. This is from the um, Vintage Parcel Journal Kit, one of the ephemera pieces. And then these are stickers from my stash. I put them together with a, a Tim Holtz little paper clip. And then they just tuck into this pocket right here. And then here's some other pieces. These came from the Vintage Parcel Journal Kit. And that's from a newsprint bag. And then these are some pieces that I fussy cut from other pages. And I just glued them onto the side to make them tough spots. Those are some tags from my stash. The same here. And then this page I really, really like. This is one of the pages from the collection. And I pleated it. So there's a pleat here. And then a second pleat here. And then that's the bottom of the paper. And I just glued it on the top and the bottom. And between the uh, first and second pleat, I put some of the lace. And then I put this pretty little lace bow on top. And it's a belly band. And um, I have one of the ephemera pieces I printed larger. I just added some bling. And then this is another uh, printable that I had in my stash. So those just tuck underneath the belly band. Um, like that. And I think it looks so pretty. And now this is a ledger paper that I had in my stash. I, this is also from one of the pages in the collection. I printed this on 65-pound um, paper or cardstock. And then I glued it on the side, top and on the bottom um, and the side. And then this folds out. It's a Z-fold. So that came out really cute. And then I just keep it closed together with another little... Tim Holtz paper clip with a tassel hanging from it and then on the on the back um, this is ledger paper that I have in my stash it's actual ledger paper and I use this and I printed some of the guaranteed handmade shabby labels on it and I just liked how the page looks so I use that in my journal so here's another page with the glassine envelopes and some of the ephemera pieces one of the ephemera I printed on vellum Here's another little tuck spot right here that I use that I made using one of the journaling spots. And then these are just some um, sticky notes that I had in my stash that match uh, the journaling spots. And then this is the back cover of the first insert. I just cut a deep V in it and then I added some of this bling and then I put in one of the journaling spots and then one of the ephemera pieces. And then the center, which is the front of the second insert and the the back of the first one are identical they're just turned upside down <laughs> but I thought that came out really cute and that was actually not intentional um, but that's how it turned out and I really like it so here um, again I took one of the pages that has these really pretty it's like a square doily and I printed that out I fussy cut it and made it a tuck on this side and those are some um, ephemera pieces that I had already printed from some other collection and I had already printed them on vellum and then there's another tuck spot right here on this side and then this is a um, laser printed um, note paper that I had in my stash I glued it on the sides and on the bottom and left this side open so that it could be a pocket and then I just have a tag and this is the, the um, from one of the envelopes I really love this image so I cut all the other parts of the envelope off and then just use that part on this tag. Then this is one of the shabby labels, the guaranteed handmade shabby labels. And that's just used as a tab to flip this open. And then here's one of the um, ephemera pieces. And I love how that looks. Then I have a weekly, weekly time record that I used some of the, um, the scroll washi tape on. And then I just keep it closed with a... Uh, seam binding and I tie that into a bow and then here's one of the women of color journaling spots and that so I glued this on the side and on the bottom and then there's a tuck here is um, one of the roses from the collection that I fussy cut out and I had actually printed that on ledger paper as well so that looked really pretty there and then these are the two of the envelopes 
I uh, created the envelopes and then I cut the top flap off and then I put on some of the journaling spots and then I did some fussy cutting at the top and put that on and then um, this is some this is the grid paper that I had in my stash and I actually printed these on grid paper as well so I printed these on this same grid paper and that's why you see the lines normally you wouldn't see those lines in these envelopes and then I just made a little notepad here with some different papers that I had in my stash some coffee dyed some not I used a little um, die cut or a punch label there and then I uh, fussy cut one of the roses and put that there and then this page this is how this page looks so I printed it on the on the regular copy paper and then I printed it again on cardstock then I fussy cut this part out and glued it on the sides and the bottom um, so that the page was still identical to how it originally was but now I have a pocket and then I added some of the bling I added this rose here and then I added one of the women of color um, images to to that front part and then here's another one these are some of the roses that I had printed on the glitter paper that I already had in my stash and then these are one of the other journaling spots it's just a fold over where I added a little bow there and then this page I folded up the bottom to create a pocket on this side and then here's one of the envelopes and one of the journaling spots in there and then that just tucks into this pocket here then I added a tuck spot here with one of the um, washi tape stickers that I put on just some regular cardstock to be a tuck spot and and then this is the other part of the grid paper here's another one of the shipping tags that I printed on the burlap then there's a French card and then this is a, an ephemera piece from the vintage parcel collection I added some lace there and then I folded up the bottom of this page to create another pocket here and I added an ephemera and um, one of the images and then this is another one of the envelopes that's in the collection and I printed it on vellum um, and then I just put a tag here and then a tag in the back and then I added this fussy cut little flower and a piece of lace there then this is the center of the album I did it the same way I did with the other one after I did all my binding and attached it to the cover of the journal then I sealed the sides to make this just a pocket and I have just one of the pages from the collection that I folded up and then um, one that I printed on cardstock that I just cut it down and those tuck into that pocket and then here on the back this is this same envelope but I printed it on cardstock and then um, I put this is some mulberry paper that I had in my stash and then this is just a coffee dyed paper that I had in my stash I just added one of the handmade labels on it and then I tucked that into the pocket that I made with this envelope I also did some fussy cutting of the little um, hot air balloons and put those on the side and then these just tuck here with a paper clip and then this is one of those um, seed packets from Target I think from earlier this year or last year I just added one of the ephemera pieces I folded up the bottom to create a pocket here and then there's a pocket here that I added one of the shipping labels and then one of the ephemera pieces oh that's stuck oh there it goes one of the ephemera pieces and then some other ephemera pieces there and one of the journaling spots the other part of the grid paper that I just added some of the washi tape onto and then this one I had a sticker here and one of the ship the um, shabby labels and I just stapled the shabby label onto this sticker and then that's actually a tuck spot as well and then this is what I did with the life of bloom paper so when I really wanted to do this I saw this on um, an, a video by paper outpost and she calls them layer cakes so I really wanted to do this and I had forgotten about it and then I remembered and by that time I had used most of the paper that I had printed so I just looked through my stash and I pulled these life of bloom papers because they go well with this collection and um, I made the layer cake so there's and I also attached the um, guaranteed handmade shabby labels as the little uh, tabs for the cake so then this part opens 
this part opens and then this part opens and you can journal on all of them and then I added one of the women of color journaling spots there so I love this I thought it came out so pretty and then here's another one of the pages that I folded the corner up to make a pocket and then this is one of the ephemera pieces that I printed really large and then I just um, ripped out ripped it out ripped the sizes the sides folded it and tucked it in here and then there's one of the women of color um, journaling spots that I had printed on vellum and then I backed it with cardstock and then stapled them together and then this is the tag that I created and I actually created it to use in this journal but I actually created it for a challenge as well it's just a large tag that I had in my stash it's covered with a newsprint bag and then I have a tag here that's covered with one of the journaling the washi tape scrolls and this is just an ephemera piece that I had in my stash that looks like a film strip here is one of the women of color shipping labels and then there is a butterfly um, that was made with the with a Tim Holtz die and then on this side this is one of the ephemera pieces I printed it pretty large and then this I made with some scraps of the life of bloom paper and it's just a little fold over piece with a little tab on it that says charming and then I always like to include the name of the paper collection that I used in a journal somewhere in the journal so this is the page that I guess was tagged as the cover of the journal but I usually never use those as covers so I just did some fussy cutting and used it as a tuck spot and then I put here another tag that I covered with newspaper newsprint bag and then um, some of the ephemera pieces one of the ephemera pieces from the collection and then a little tab there and then uh, okay. and then this is the back cover of the second insert and I cut that in a in a oval shape um, to make it look like it reminds me of a neckline I thought it came out so pretty I added the bling and then this little bow here and then um, the top lace that you're seeing is from the back cover so I thought that just came out so so pretty and then this is the back cover of the journal and there's a, the other half of that um, printable doily and that's also a tuck spot so that is my journal that I created using the French classified collection from um, Tsunami Rose Design so definitely go on over and check out her store I like I said I will put links in the description box and um, this is so much I love doing journals and I hadn't done from one for a really long time so it was good to get back and do another one so thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day bye